Hi uh, and good evening. We are from 2B Zach Section 1, Group 1. And here, me and my groupmate are uh, to present about our project Exoskeleton Robot for Upper Limb, aka Use PD Controller. My name is Mustafa Hazim bin Muhammad Razif, accompanied by Muhammad Shazwan Alafi bin Ruslan and Muhammad Izzat. Muhammad Nur Aizat bin Hamad and Muhammad Amin Rudin bin Rusli. Okay, now I will be passing out the uh, presentation to uh, Amin. For abstract, exoskeletal robotic has used in a new era of mo modern neuromuscular rehabilitation, engineering and assistive technology research. It remains rather difficult to analyze their ability to finally interact with the human limbs. No performer indicators or general methodology to characterize this capacity really exists. The technology promises to improve the upper limbs functionalities required to performing activity of daily living. The exoskeleton technology is uh, evolving quickly but still need inter interdisciplinary research to solve technical challenge. Kinetic, kinematic compatibility and development of effective human robotic interaction. And now I'm passed to Mustafa Hazim. Okay, yeah, thank you, Ami. For our introduction for our project, uh, exoskeleton is actually a huge step for human robotic system where it can help a very lot of people in very different kind of fields such as it can be used in military power or in the hospital host, uh, hospital usage or even the most obvious one that we've seen uh, now is in the industrial uh, usage. But common usage for exoskeleton is actually is to help for re rehabilitation session or human augmentation where it, it can help human recover from serious traumatic accident such as maybe in caught up in an accident or it can help regain its function normally through uh, the help of exoskeleton. Uh, there is a lot of things or or in fact a way to control an upper lift selector and that involves a, a good position control and impedance control and torque control. In order to get a precise movement of the upper limb exoskeleton, many control strategy for the upper limb skeleton have been proposed and we have executed all of them in this uh, in our project. So now uh, I'm going to present uh, the state of art where we I will talk about the general you uh, general project general of the project. Okay, for our controller, actually we are using fuzzy adaptive PD controller that combine the conventional PD controller and fuzzy to express it. Sorry to establish a binary continuous function between the PD parameter and the top tracking error. This gain of a PD controller can be automatically adjusted according to the deviation of top, which play an important role in making the fuzzy adaptive controller work on a changeable mode. The purpose of a fuzzy PD controller is to find out the relationship between the PD grain, PD gain, and the joint top of THM. Because uh, in our traditional usage of PD controller, uh, it is not very accurate. Hence, it, it will lack, be a lack of uh, precision in data accuracy and data uh, jot down in our sensing of the motto and such. So that is why we have uh, decided to use the combination of uh, a combination of traditional PD controller and a fuzzy controller. So, in a way, for this, uh, we have come up with the transfer function where it is TE is equal to TD minus THM. Or we, uh, the other one transfer function is TE is equal to DTE over DT. Okay, now I will, thank you, that is all for me. Now I will turn, uh, pass the presentation to Muhammad Shazwan. Okay, thank you, Mustafa Hazim. Okay, this one is the photo of the program of exoskeleton robotic. So you can see the flow from the 
input fuzzy five through the fuzzy interference through the fuzzy five through the parameter tuning and through the uh, our controller is which is PD controller and then the below one is from the load sensor will detect the load send the input to PD control system and move the exoskeleton upwards and downwards motion okay next okay about the methodology or the procedure okay the first one a robotic exoskeleton system is a novel man machine intelligence system in fully merge the human intelligence and machine power it is an auto device with corresponding joints and linked to the human joint and links the third one the robotics exoskeleton transmit the talk to the human joints from the actuators through its links the motion of each articulation can be controlled through powered motor by sensor detect if the load are exceed the speed of the motion upwards and downwards can be increased depends on the load of the weight okay next all right i i will pass to muhammad nur Rizad. Okay, thank you, uh, Shazwa Lafiz. Uh, by the way, my name is Muhammad Anur Aizat, not Izzat, okay? Okay, for the result, uh, for the endpoint analysis, uh, for the calculation of kinematic parameters relating to the hand trajectory, the 3D trajectory of the markers was smooth using a zero-phase forward and reverse digital filter at 5 hertz. This, redu this reduced noise related to the recording system. Okay, uh, the picture show uh, the trajectory of the pointer for subject one in the three condition. The three movement repetition has been average. The blue line represents the no, the no robot condition, the red with the robot one. Okay, for the next slide. Okay, for the discussion of this project, uh, we have proposed a methodology for the evaluation of PHR, PHRI, which we apply to the example of a PDOF exoskeleton. This work was a pilot study which aimed not to quantity the perturbations induced by a specific exoskeleton, but to focus on the necessity of using rigorous methodology to gain a deeper understanding of physical human robot interaction. In particular, the proposed methodology aims at evaluating the effect of interaction with a multi contact robot at three different levels of human motor performance and point trajectory generation, joint ro rotation, and dynamic interaction. Okay, uh, for the completion, I will pass to Muhammad Amiruddin. Okay, thank you, Aizat. For conclusion, upper limbs exoskeleton system have important implication, value in motion assistance, and rehabilitation application. The article has proved provided an extensive review on the current development of upper limbs exoskeleton. Moreover, the outdoors have consistently reviewed some and exoskeleton by keeping in mind their future need of inter integration with upper limbs exos exoskeleton. Okay, that's all from us. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you. you.